Yeah, to be a Trans-American Junior Scholastic All-American, it was a sweet honor. Playing on the AJGA, you, uh, you meet so many people and you see a lot of the same uh, you know, faculty around many, many tournaments and you see a lot of the same players. Uh, and you become friends with all of them, you see them all the time. And you just grow your game as a golfer, especially. Um, you can do many things, but you learn a lot of proper etiquette here. You learn how to take your hat off indoors, shake hands, write thank you notes. Uh, so it grows you in many ways more than just your golf game. First, uh, when I read it, when you read it the first way, uh, uh, top to bottom, it kind of brings a negative connotation to golf and you know all the struggles and, and how it can't always go your way and sometimes you have to get throw. through it. And then when you read it from I the bottom to the top, it changes it into a positive connotation and kind of brings a bright well, side to golf and why you love it and why I play it I and why myself. you always compete. Yeah, in 2015, I, uh, I played in pretty much all my age AGAs, maybe four, maybe five. Um, and I played well in a couple of them. Uh, it was the first year that I actually really competed on the AJGA, um, and you learn if you, if you can compete here, you can compete anywhere in any other tour. And uh, that's what I found out. Um, I racked up a couple top tens and uh, was able to compete elsewhere just because you build that confidence. And you just, I learned that you can't go into a tournament thinking, oh, I'm just here to be here, I'm just another one but you learn that you can act, you're there for a reason and you're there to compete. Um, and that's eventually what I found out and uh, played well in a few tournaments and Purdue offered me and I committed there and that'll be obviously a sweet experience. So it's nice to see that, you know, hard work pays off and that I'm finally getting somewhere with the golf game and I can compete on many levels.